I promise you, if you put your mind to it and you work hard and you never give up and you do not listen to the rejection, you can achieve anything that life throws your way. Everywhere is cold and lost. I'm gonna stay last. I'm gonna get some spinach, but the shop is almost short, so I need to get in. I've got 10 minutes to finalize the spinach. Here we go. It's now 1.40, but it's very good stuff. I can blend this. I don't necessarily enjoy it when it comes to chewing it, but when it comes to blending it, this is like the best. Really good. Please tell me you're the bad, never good. Fill my head full of every single doubt. Yeah. Please say This is where I buy my soya milk. My cauliflower fell. She never do things last minute, really. My daughter liked this on the floor. Some Nando sauce. Yeah. I like the hot one. My husband likes extra hot, but they don't do extra hot anymore. But they just have the hot marinade. Oh, they even have Wagamama sauce. I love Wagamama. Store is closed. So I noticed that I do not have foil in my car, so my husband gave me thirty pounds to get foil. Do you think that they're going to take the queen's head off the pound? Even before she died, I thought about it, and now that we've got Prince, or rather King Charles, do you think that the pound is going to change? Anyway, let's get some foil. You know, sometimes I'm not sure if I'm buying petrol or fuel. It's weird that they put the diesel at the very bottom there. This is not good. I have 30 pounds and that's what it came to. I got 16 litres and 72 for 30 pounds 58. Forgetting or not forgetting, I have 30 pounds only. So I've raided my car and I got some coins. So I have enough. I decided to wear something different on this day. So I was wearing an oversized blazer by Boss. It was actually um, a blazer that my brother in law bought. I just wanted to wear something different. However, at some point, I changed my blazer for black. It was a day when I had so many clients. And I really wanted to try as much as possible to deal with my paperwork because I was going to be in court for the rest of the week, really. Yeah, um, we Hi everyone, good morning. So it's actually afternoon is 1.08. Actually feels like it's the morning because I've had such a busy day. But then it still feels like I'm starting because I have a very busy day. Um, you know, I'm going to be walking till about 7 today in the office. But then I'm going to be walking till very late because until Friday I'm in court. So I try to vlog as much as possible. Today I've got a home visit and that's basically because... I need to visit these people in their house. Sometimes I'll do the prison visits. Sometimes it'll be hospital visits. It just depends. Um, we will do home visits because people are disabled or um, just really depends. Sometimes they're very elderly. Sometimes they're on their deathbeds, which is really, really sad. So the work can be very sensitive like that. Anyway, this is what I'm looking like. 
I'm wearing a military dress, which I really wanted to get and I got it. I'm gonna have to go now. <laughs> I'll speak to you later. I have finished my meeting. That was perfect. My clients were perfect. They really made me laugh and I made them laugh as well. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the office now. I've got a settlement agreement that I have to do. I got a consent order and then I do have my client who is having a hearing tomorrow for two days. So we're gonna spend about two. How cool is that? People just go and steal all of it. It's really nice. I really love to watch the dustbin collectors. They're so interesting. They do it so quickly and so efficiently. <sighs> there goes the bin people. So the time is now 6.34 and I'm going to be leaving soon. I still have two um, consent orders to deal with for family law matters. One is to vacate a hearing and the other one is for the parties to reach a, um, an agreement, a settlement agreement in a family law financial matter. I didn't have what we used to call a compromise agreement in an employment law case. We now call it a settlement agreement. I have to finalize that. I'm in court tomorrow up till Friday so I have one position statement to deal with today and then I'm going to drag my bundle out of here and I'll see you on my way to court tomorrow. Bye! Well, on the first day of my hearing, I just decided not to record anything, not to film anything. It was quite emotional in court, witnesses crying and all of that. And um, I had my cross-examination the next day and also I also had oral submissions to prepare for. So I just decided I wasn't going to vlog. I met this beautiful lady outside the court um, house. There are loads of grapes um, out there and you can have them if you want. And she, you know, got loads and she gave me some, which was very kind. We just had a chat and that was really nice. So today is Wednesday and the Dartford County Court is somewhere there. Look how beautiful this place is. Hmm. I love bridges. That's what I'm wearing today. I've got a lot of compliments for my jacket. So anyway, I'm done with the courts now and oh, whoa, look at that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh. So today has been another day when I've had to stand underneath the trees away from the rain because it's been raining but um, today was very good I won my two-day hearing I'm at Dartford County Court and it's just somewhere there and it was quite um, touching today because even though I won my case, the child is involved and nobody really wins because it was a family law case today and the other side did not take the judgment lightly at all. They became very distressed and that can happen. I've seen that happen a couple of times and it's then very difficult for you, you know, to be smiling and pretending that you do not know that they're going through a lot because that could be your client in another case where, you know, you lose Anyway, um, I'm at Romford County Court tomorrow and then I'm at East London the very next day. So it's been a very busy week concerning court. I'm going to go back to the office now. It's about 6, 6 o'clock. I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick up my bundle ready for tomorrow. And who knows, I might be able to pick up the camera and to vlog. But then for you who wonder what the family law is like, Defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. For kings, above all men, you keep your created things. Hey everyone, so it's Thursday and I'm in Romford. I've been to the Romford County Court. It's been a very eventful day. 
it feels like a Friday but believe me in this profession sometimes a Monday feels like a Friday so I'm in this beautiful park if you haven't noticed I love to sit in parks or to just walk around in parks I think my battery is dying which is just at the right time so I'm just gonna tell you a bit about my day today so I have been to Romford County Court as I said and um, it was a child arrangements order case a family law case but it was a big one and um, I went to court about seven o'clock in the morning and because it's quite a travel for me from where I live and then it's about 4 18 at this time so we were the last ones to come out of court which is not unusual anyway you would have noticed that I tend to come out of court quite late um, but we got what we wanted but sadly we would still have to wait for some reports and all of that from the local authority which I do not mind and my client def definitely doesn't mind but it would have been nice to have finished this case today anyway I'm gonna have to go to Notting Hill Gate now I've got a meeting um, sometime today about five o'clock and I also have to go to church in case you do not know I sing in case you do not know I sing so I'm having to go into church I'll see you later I'm just wearing a dog breasted jacket um, which is very adventurous for me because I would normally wear black on black I changed my shoes to black just because I was looking too fanciful for court and I've got about five files or folders in the car that I've been carrying everywhere so um, this is what my week can look like and it's really really busy and it's quite demanding but it's very rewarding especially when you get clients to be very happy and also the money side of it i know that you guys like to talk about money because i see the views and the questions on my videos concerning money so i'll be doing a lot of those videos let me know what you want to know about money in the profession about salaries careers and all of that and i'll be happy to look at those anyway i'm gonna go now and i'll see you later bye